you know when we run we often pay attention to our lower body what's our foot strike what's our cadence stride length and so forth but just as important and, and efficient and good running form is our upper body we need to pay attention to what's going on in the top half also in addition to our bottom half Hi, I'm Ralph and welcome to Ages Running. Hey, I'm all about running, especially if you're north of 40, if you're new here. Love to have you stick around, hit that subscribe button. So let's talk about our upper body and what we should be doing with that, starting with our head. So I'm, I'm a person who often has a problem of staring down at my feet when I'm running. And that's not what you want to do. You want to be, have your head straight up, looking off in the distance. Pick a point way out there, you know, 100 feet, uh, you know, 30 yards, uh, 30 meters, something like that and gaze at that, that'll help keep your head upright. Now there's one exception to that, and that is trail running. When you're trail running, you do kind of want to look in front of your feet because you want to avoid tripping, but keep the head upright and gaze into the distance. Now the other thing we want to be doing with the head is keeping our jaw relaxed, not clenching our teeth. Now it's hard to clench your teeth when you're running because you're trying to breathe through your mouth, but if you're getting ready for your run or you're you know, just beginning your run, maybe clenching your jaw, relax that jaw, open your mouth, make it easier to, to breathe through your mouth and, and get that oxygen you need. Now in the town where I used to live, there's this kind of well-known local runner for running marathons. And it would not be unusual to see him running around the town doing training runs. And it always looked to me like when he was running, that he had his shoulders some stuff. That he was running with his shoulders in the up position. It seemed unnatural to me. I wasn't a runner at the time, but it seemed unnatural. He, he made it work, obviously, but that's not what you want to do. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed. Let them kind of droop down. If anything, let them kind of fall forward. Don't push them forward. Just kind of let them naturally fall forward. But keep them relaxed. Do not do this like, like that guy in my old, my old town. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please scroll down and hit that like icon. Those likes really help my channel. Thanks. So as our legs are to our lower body, our arms are to our upper body. It's very important how we move our arms and hold them. Uh, imagine trying to run without swinging your arms. It's pretty difficult. So a couple key things about our arms. First off is keep the elbow at a 90 degree angle. That's a right angle. You want to swing your, your arms close to your body. You don't want to put them out here. You don't, you don't want to uh, get them too far out. Get them close to your body. Pretend like you're grabbing your phone, you're picking it up. You're grabbing your phone, you're putting it back. So keep them close to your body. It, and, and the really important thing is to swing them straight. Swing them out ahead. When you cross your body, uh, that's sending your momentum that direction. You're not going that direction. You're going forward. So keep those swinging forward if it helps you. That spot you're looking at out in the distance, point your arms towards that. That'll help that. Now, next thing we've been talking about relaxation is keep your fists relaxed. Do not cleanse them. Keep your palms inward and keep your thumbs resting on the top of your forefingers. I like to pretend like I'm carrying saltine crackers. Maybe you like saltine crackers and you can't wait to have one at the end of your run. So you're going to carry one in each hand, but you don't want them to break. You don't want them to drop it. So kind of hold your thumbs kind of with that kind of a pressure. Keep your, your, your hands loose and palms in and just swing them close to your body, point it straight, and then you'll have good motion, good efficiency in your run. Now the last part of our upper body I want to discuss is the torso. One thing to be careful of is do not lean from the waist. You do want to lean into your run, but that should come from your ankles, not your waist. So do not lean from the waist. Now normally when you do a lot of exercise, you want to tighten your core muscles. That provides stability, provides grounding so you don't hurt yourself, especially if you're doing strength training. And I used to think in running you'd want to tighten your core too, again for that stability and balance. I no longer think that. I think it's important to relax your core, and the reason for that is breathing. To get good breath, you need to expand your diaphragm. To expand your diaphragm, you need to let your tummy expand. And you can't let your tummy expand if you got your core muscles tight. So I would recommend do not tighten your core. Make sure you're getting that uh, deep breath, expanding your diaphragm, expanding your belly, and making sure you get enough oxygen to support your run. So the key points in summary are upper body relaxed. Keep everything relaxed. Uh, keep your head upright. And swing those arms close to your body, but pointing and swinging in the direction that you're traveling. You might want to practice some of these points over the next few weeks in your runs. Uh, eventually they'll become routine. You won't have to think about them. It'll just naturally happen. Hey, if you enjoyed this, this video, please scroll down and hit that like icon. Those likes really help my channel. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around and hit that subscribe button. In any case, thanks again for watching and happy running.